you can now program a menu um, that at the beginning, it just gives them the information so you can get them into the right flow. So you have a conversation starter, are you an Amazon seller? Oh, okay, great, well, let me get you started here. But here are a list of our favorite ones. Um, all of those are actually great, um, but this list is what we think or what we currently really like regarding all those updates. So first update is conversation starters. Um, normally, before you actually have managed that, when you set up your Facebook page, messaging under settings, it will have some conversation starters built in. Those are the normal, do you have any more products? When is your, or what are uh, your working hours questions that are pretty generic on your Facebook page. With the ManageChat update conversation starters, you can actually now customize this set of messages under your main menu. Um, we can go over all of these changes afterwards so I can show you all of those in detail on the accounts that we currently have those. Quick note, however, since these updates were announced yesterday per the manager team, this will be slowly updated on your accounts or pushed in your accounts within seven days when they are announced. So you may expect to see all those updates today, tomorrow, or the next day afterwards. John, since we have a lot of things to cover still, uh, why don't we do this? Why don't you just go ahead and, and plug them all in and then let's chat about the ones that we're the most excited about, all right? Because I know it's a lot of them. So this, is this it? This is that 10, right? The main ones? Yes. We got, okay, good. All right. So I can tell you what I'm the most excited about. And then, John, you can tell me what you're the most excited about. All right. Uh, I think that's a good starting point here so we can move through this fast. Because this was explained by Mike Yang, the CEO of uh, ManyChat yesterday. And um, obviously, at the end of it, uh, John did not even put it there, but they're doing a WhatsApp beta. Uh, which is a closed beta on the fourth quarter. Super excited about that. We're going to be included in that beta. There's only about, I think they said six or seven people that are going to be trying this out. So I'll, I will be, we, we are going to be trying that out ourselves, particularly for our Latin American audience, because WhatsApp is a big deal in Latin America. So I'll keep you guys posted as we learn things on it. So that's exciting. It is closed up, but imagine the ability to, just that very cool ability to create a conversation that starts in Facebook Messenger, opens up in WhatsApp and goes over here. And I think this is just my feeling. I could be wrong, but I have a feeling that before the end of Conversations 2020, Mike Yang might get on stage to make an announcement. And it's, it might be, I might be hallucinating, but I feel it's the right time for him to announce Instagram direct messaging integration, because also now Facebook just announced the ability that's going to be rolling out that if you have somebody, uh, if you're a messenger and you want to send a message to your friend on Instagram, you can do that too. So that's happening at some point. I don't know if they're going to announce it now or they're still holding on to that announcement, but I wouldn't be surprised to just visualize the bot, ManyChat, being able to open up conversations on all these different placements, platforms and have them connect and talk to each other. I'm super excited about that. That's the thing that I believe is gonna be a golden opportunity and it's a way. Somebody said here, Albert, can you set me up uh, please with ask WhatsApp? I wish Albert, I literally, uh, I'm telling you, it's about six total brands, six total brands. One of my brands is being approved for it, that's it. My market is all Latin America. Yes, Albert, uh, I get it. Same here with Natural Swim. So we'll keep you posted on that as uh, this thing gets rolled out. Um, uh, very soon, we're probably, probably going to have a lot more data on it. There's a bunch of other things that are a little more technical, uh, but you know, you do get a hundred, a ten thousand free SMS for pro accounts. Super exciting, a hundred dollars free, basically. A uh, hundred thousand emails. Uh, I love the email customization under Flow Builder. You can customize a lot more uh, your email marketing. Uh, it's going to become an email marketing platform all on its own. So for example, now being able to customize the from address, it's a big deal, something that we were all asking for, and that's now available. So ManyChat has had some great reception to, the, to ManyChat as an email marketing platform. So I think they're, they're realizing that and they're putting a lot more attention to it. Uh, and then the dynamic menu is a lot more technical, but you can give them a menu to people based on uh, if they're existing customers or where they're at in the journey with you. Those are a little bit more advanced. We're going to be testing things out here and then come back to you guys with uh, more specifics on this. 
a flexible a Facebook page connection. That's uh, something that um, it's going to allow you to, for us as an agency, for agencies is great because you can build an entire bot and then you can transfer the whole thing uh, very easily without a connection to a particular page. Um, so for example, if, you, if Messenger doesn't like you anymore and they shut down your bot and they say, you're done, I don't want to uh, have you message a Messenger anymore. Well, you still have ManyChat because you accumulated phone numbers and you accumulated emails and you have your own bot and everything. So now you can change that page connection. Uh, it doesn't transfer the subscribers of Messenger, but it allows you to continue to have the bot with the existing structure if they do shut you down. So that's something that makes sense. Uh, whatever John mentioned, uh, that John was talking about conversation starters. I am really excited about that one. Super excited about that one. And we got to put it together first. Uh, and once we do, uh, then um, we can show you guys more what this is. I'm going to be setting up a whole coaching session just for uh, implementation of some of these updates. That one I'm super excited about because um, when somebody comes into your getting started, just picture this for a second, right? Like uh, if somebody comes in, and John, you can stop sharing your screen for a second so they can see my whiteboard a little bit better. Uh, so if they come in, it should, they, it, it, it should all be different. Uh, somebody, for example, come into my world, I should be able to tell them, hey, so are you interested in Amazon? Um, are you a business owner? Uh, experience? For example, I'm making this up right now as we go. That's horrible right now. I need to fix the, the, uh, the, the thickness of this thing right here. But, but it's a conversation started. They're, they're, they can come in and you can immediately get data from them and not treat them all the same. And that's how you start the whole conversation. So that's more based for organic traffic coming into your messenger bot that they just come in and they start engaging with you. Well, you, you can now program a menu um, that at the beginning, it just gives them the information so you can get them into the right flow. So you have a conversation starter. Are you an Amazon seller? Oh, okay, great, well, let me get you started here. That's how you get the whole thing started, the relationship with them along the way. So once we get more data on structuring this out, we are gonna give you guys uh, that data and show you how to do it. Uh, for now, uh, these are the things that I'm the most excited about. John, I'll go back to your slides and tell me what are you most excited about here, man, since you're like super uh, many chat, extra coder, mega geek in this world. So tell <laughs> Um, there are three main things that actually I'm really excited. Um, the undo and redo options. Um, this is actually really helpful, not just for the expert ManyChat users, but mostly with everyone, even though the, uh, with the beginners. So normally when you create the flows, you make a mistake, you deleted a section mistakenly, you can now actually just redo the action you made. So it will put back anything that you delete, anything that you add, it pretty much simplifies the whole process and removes any problems that you may incur once you mistakenly delete something. Um, second thing that I'm excited about is the folders for custom fields. We do have quite a big uh, messenger channels for our clients. And one of the areas we're currently having issues with is the number of or the quantity of custom fields we are using. Um, this would now actually allow us to um, segregate or separate each on each folder, the custom fields. For example, if you have custom fields for a quiz one, you have a custom field for quiz two, you have a custom field for survey details, you can have those per folder. So you can easily access, edit, update those custom fields in the future. Um, page connection is also very ideal, especially with if you are aiming to sell manage templates in the future. You can um, create templates for one Facebook page, for example, and let's say you want, or let's say you no longer want to use that Facebook page, you can easily just move the whole ManyChat account into a new different Facebook page. It, that, that can be applied, for example, you create a demo account, and then once the client, your client agrees to, to pay for the services and import the, the whole account, you can just easily transfer the whole thing or template you built and it will automatically be connected to a new Facebook page. Those are the three main things I'm excited. The smart delays, user expiration time are all pretty helpful as well, especially with building out your multi-channel. 
if this applies if you are asking for uh, a phone number, you can set an, an expiration date for that user input and can deliver an automated message afterwards if the user did not reply. So let's say you set up for 30 minutes, the user didn't reply, you can automatically send out a follow-up message asking them if they would still like to continue and add their phone numbers or any other um, information or question you would like to ask them afterwards. Previously, it is only set to stop the user input after 24 hours, which actually would stop you from messaging them since they no longer or have not interacted with your bot for the past 24 hours. This now allows you to ensure your questions have been asked or if your questions will be skipped afterwards. Those are the few ones I'm really excited with. <laughs>